The Pixel 8a has not been made official yet, but with Google I.O. right around the corner, more and more details keep emerging. Over the past few weeks, we've got a lot of new information about its upgraded display, we've seen some detailed 3D renders so we know what the device looks like, and got some unsettling information about a potential price bump. There's a lot to cover, so without wasting any more time, let's take a look at everything we know about the upcoming Pixel 8a. As usual, if you enjoy all things Google and Android, consider subscribing to the 9to5Google YouTube channel. There's a lot of Google news that's going to be coming out between now until the end of the year, and we'll be covering as much of it as possible, so don't miss out, subscribe, and stick around for the ride. All right, and getting into it, let's talk about the biggest changes first, starting with the design. Renders from OnLeaks gave us a first look, and from what we can see, there's a lot of cues taken from the Pixel 8 design language. The most noticeable change is a curvier, more ergonomic shape, which is definitely a stark contrast from the 7a's boxy design aesthetic, but more in line with the Pixel 8 series. The footprint should stay overall the same at 152.1 millimeters by 72.1 6 by 8.9 millimeters, which basically means the 8A will be ever so slightly taller, narrower, and thinner compared to the 7A. The rest of the design is as expected, with the minimally raised camera bar sporting a matte finish aluminum frame, and while not confirmed, we do expect it will have a plastic back to help keep the cost down. Based on a leak we saw in late September, there does appear to be a new color added to the mix with a bay blue variant like we saw on the Pixel 8 Pro, but here it has a color matte frame, which I think looks pretty good. Overall, the design seems like a natural progression of the A series, being more in line with Google's newer flagship devices, so ultimately, I'm pretty happy here. Probably the biggest upgrade for the Pixel 8a might be the display. Leaks from Android Authority suggest that it will retain the same 6.1 inch screen size, but receive some impressive improvements for an A series device. It seems the refresh rate will jump from 90 to 120 hertz for smoother visuals, and and the peak brightness increases from 1000 nits on last year's 7A to 1400 nits that should allow for better viewing outdoors. Android Authority also suggested there would be display out support that could potentially enable screen mirroring to external displays. And while we haven't heard any news in a while, we do know Google is also working on a desktop mode. In my opinion, I think that desktop feature is still a year or two out, but the fact the 8A could have the physical hardware to support it makes me hopeful for the future. In short, the display developments are pretty big and should make for the brightest, smoothest, and most functional screen in the A series lineup. The Pixel 8a is likely to sport the Tensor G3 chip following the A series tradition of using the current year's chip with slight modifications. This typically involves less heat efficient packaging meant to keep the cost down, which may affect sustained performance under heavy use, but otherwise is the same G3 we see in the flagship devices. Knowing this, we have a bit of insight into what features we can expect with the Pixel 8a. According to a Google blog post, the Tensor G3 allows for for better computational photography algorithms, improved processing for night sight, magic eraser, and best take. It adds additional detection for call screening and has better real-time processing that enables the use of live caption and live translate. Most importantly, the Tensor G3 integrates the Titan M2 security chip that allows for secure fingerprint and face unlock for both app logins and mobile payments. Considering these features are the core functionalities of the chip itself, I think it's perfectly reasonable to expect them on the Pixel 8a, but if that less heat efficient packaging is anything to keep in mind, I'd say nothing is guaranteed, unfortunately. One of the biggest concerns surrounding the Pixel 8a seems to be the price. Based on a leak from a German retailer, the device might cost around 569 euros, which could translate to roughly 550 USD. At this price point, some argue that the Pixel 8, which regularly goes on sale for 550 or less, by the way, is a significantly better choice, while others bring up how the Pixel 8a loses that budget-friendly appeal at the 550 mark. It's also worth pointing out how important budget offerings are these days as smartphone prices continue to rise alongside the cost of living. 
Honestly, I somewhat agree with these sentiments, but something I like to consider is the potential on sale price. Much like the Pixel 7a that frequently drops below the 400 USD mark, the Pixel 8a could become an excellent value if Google offers similar discounts. However, at the full MSRP, I agree with the community wholeheartedly that the regular Pixel 8 might be a better choice. It'll have better cameras, a brighter display, and improved build quality that justifies the extra 50-ish dollars went on sale. One more thing I'm really curious about is how the Pixel 8a will stack up against the competition this year. I think the 8a will be focused on AI, have great cameras, and that Google software support. On the other hand, the OnePlus 12R is a literal powerhouse with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, so it's great for gaming, has insane battery life, and the super customizable Oxygen OS. Then you have the Nothing Phone 2a with a unique design, a massive 6.7 inch high refresh rate display and also has excellent battery life. Those are the top two contenders, but with the potential price increase to 550, you're looking at a lot of good choices on the secondhand market as well, like maybe the S22 Ultra, the Z Flip 5 is starting to hit the 500s, and more, so this year we'll have a lot of competition to say the least. Finally, the last question myself and many others have is when we can expect to see a formal announcement. While there's no official date that's been publicly discussed, several hints suggest it will be revealed very soon. Just this week, the Pixel 8a appeared in FCC filings with one model number matching a leaked retail box reported in mid-January. Additionally, Google itself acknowledged the Pixel 8a's existence on an Android bug tracker, highlighting a battery stats feature specifically designed for the 8a in future models. So it's clear Google's very deep into production at this point, and if I had to guess based on what we've seen in the past, we could see it reveal sometime in May, possibly during Google I.O. where they've announced their A-series devices in the past. And guys, that's everything we know about the Pixel 8a, at least for now. As a whole, I think we have some good upgrades with the design, display, and Tensor G3 chip, but I'm still worried on how the price will go over with consumers. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait and see as time goes on, but leave a comment and let me know what you think. Is Google taking the A-series in the right direction? And if you're considering this device, what aspects make it appealing to you over the other options in the market. Leave a comment and let me know, but in the meantime, guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.